Come on, Jessica. Wait, honey. Come on, baby. Don't let me hanging. Well? Congrats. You're gonna be a father. What? What are we gonna do now? What? You're gonna be my husband now. No, no, no. Wait, that's impossible. I mean... I have Sharon. Okay, I, I cannot. I mean, I have to pick it up. It's, I'm sorry. It's just... No, I'm talking to you right now. Look, I'm tired of being number two all the time. And now with the baby, things are finally going to be different. I cannot just leave her, okay? We have to do the other things. So let's just... Let's just go to the clinic and... What? How dare you even talk about that? Remind me, David, who kept talking about the baby all the time? I know, okay, I know. I'm just a little bit shocked and confused. Oh, you're confused. Poor, poor baby. So, let me help you. Now you have only two options. Either me and your baby or your father's wife. And I think the choice is obvious. So make up your mind, David. Okay, okay, okay. I'll talk to her. And you, you loved us more than her? Of course. Now I gotta go. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. I couldn't reach you. Are you going somewhere? Yeah, I'm leaving this house for good. Wait, what? Yes, Sharon, you and me, it's, it's over. I'm leaving you. What? Just like that? What happened, David? I mean, we are a great family. <laughs> family? Uh, what family? Sorry, do you, do you hear kids laughing around? Are there toys around here? Is it fun and joyful or is it just sad and depressing? That's what it is. Stop it. No, I'm done. And by the way, let me remind you why it's like this. Because you can't have kids. There you go. There you go. Charlie, this result knocked me down too, but, but don't leave me. No challenge can scare us. There is no us. It's your name on this paper. Deal with it. Just let, just let me go, okay? David! I'm so sorry I came here so suddenly, but, but I need someone to talk. It's all right. We are best friends, you and I. It, it hurts so much. I feel he had changed before those damn tests. And I think maybe he had someone else. No. I'm sure that he doesn't have anyone else. But maybe you are just not destined to each other. But... You have me. And you can always count on me. Thank you. Maybe we'll have something more stronger than coffee? I'd love to. <laughs> Here come our drinks. Listen, I don't feel well. I'm going home.
Dr. Carter, it isn't a good time. Mrs. Stones, I'm sorry, but it's, it's very urgent. I wanted to call you personally. What's the matter? Well, it's very hard to admit, uh, but the fact is, is that we mixed up your test results. That means that you can have children. What? But... Yes, I know it's unacceptable, and I'm very sorry. But it's still really good news for you. And I'd just like to ask you, please, not to make this case public. In that case, I need compensation. Yes, of course, Mrs. Stones. I want to run some tests again. <sighs> Honey, why did we come here? And what am I doing here? I don't know, baby. They just told me to come with family. Just gonna take a second and then I'm gonna go home. Family? <laughs> I'm so glad that there is just two of us now. I mean, the three of us. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Stones. Yep. Thank you for coming. Sure, sure. Listen, I'm gonna get right to the point because the news is not very pleasant. We ran the tests again, and uh, the results show that you can't have children. No, that's, that's impossible. That's... I'm sorry, Mr. Stones. No, no, but wait, wait, you don't understand. Uh, she's pregnant, so there must be a mistake. No, I'm sorry, that's out of the question. I mean, the tests were done properly, and I, I double-checked that myself. We are 100% sure that you're infertile. Listen, um, I'll leave you two alone. I'm very sorry. What? Can you explain? I don't understand. Look, honey, I just... I just wanted you all for me and then I... Look, and then I wanted to be pregnant from you. Oh, come on, don't touch me. How could you do this to me? But I didn't know that you were so pathetic and that you couldn't have children. I'm pathetic? You're lying and you steal me from your best friend. But I don't care about her. And I don't care about you, frankly. I just wanted an easy life from you. You so don't deserve it. You're disgusting. Of course, it turns out that you just... It turns out I am not the reason we are getting divorced, David. You are, you Jessica, I don't care anymore. Come on, Sharon. You know she fooled me. I love you. No, David. No, David. No, you fooled yourself. You fault everyone and you think that the whole world would love you. But you lied to me and she lied to you. I loved you, but all I needed it was your love in return. Sharon, come on. You know I love you. Give me a second chance. I'm gonna fix it. It's gonna be just, just two of us again. I'm so sorry. There is no us anymore. We are getting divorced. Hi, my dear folks. I hope you're doing well, because I'm here with some great news for you. You remember the big Love Buster project I mentioned previously? So, I convinced the crew to give you some info on it. And here are a few things I can say right now. Ready? I'm gonna play a lead role in a medical drama. It will have a bunch of twists, You'll probably gonna tear up, laugh, and I, I hope enjoy the story. It is very personal for me, and I'm so excited for you to see it. Get ready. Mm -hmm.